Welcome to day two of Road to the Open and today we're going to be looking at how far I hit all of the clubs in my bag. We're going to measure this on the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro, so let's go. Right, so let's get this underway, we're going to start with the 58 degree. My phone is here which is giving me my total, my carry and I think it's my ball speed on there. So yeah, we've got the ball speed, so let's get underway. My brother's out there picking some golf balls, so let's hope we don't hit him. Okay, so a nice strike there. The 58 degrees been hit, and as I can see there, so I've got a 101 carry, which for me, I think that's quite good. I generally don't hit this club past around 90 yards out on the golf course. So 101 stock carry yardage. I didn't know that before, but thanks to the Rapsodo M1 M2 Pro, I now know that. So let's move into my 54 degree. So moving into the 54 degree. Let's give this a hit and see how far I hit it. So the 54 has been hit. We have a 119 carry, a 126 total. So that's having me hit it on a fairway. A nice shot for me there. I generally try to hit this club on the course between 115 to 118. That's where I feel like I can hit it. So 119 for a full 54 degree, I suppose it's pretty good. I'm moving to the 50 degree. I'm going to very quickly change it on here. A 131 number. So again, Quite a comfortable one for me there. I feel like on the course, this is about my 130 club, maybe even 135. So into the irons, we now have the pitching wedge. Let's uh, give this a rip. I'm expecting around the 140 number. Okay, so the pitching wedge has been hit there. I had to hit a few extra ones there as I was getting some big numbers. I don't normally hit my irons this hard. So I was getting quite a few in that 151, 152 number. And I've hit a nice smooth one there. It's a 145, which for me on the golf course is my exact number that I'm looking for out of my pitch merge. And if I'm there over a 145, it's a very comfortable pitch merge for me. Let's move into the 9 iron now. Off my pitch merge, I will know all my numbers now. So this is a really good tip for you guys at home. If you hit your pitch merge 145, which is the length of mine, or whatever your pitch merge yardage is, take 10% of that number. So for me, it's 14.5 now. The gap between every single one of my irons should be 14.5. So I'm going to progressively hit them further and further. Test that for your game. If you hit it 130, you're going to have a 13 yard gap. If you hit it 120, you'll have a 12 yard gap between each iron. So try that for yourselves at home. I'm going to hit my nine iron, but this should be around the 160 mark. As you can see, the perfect 160.9 yardage. So Let's fly through this. I'm gonna hit my rest of my bag, so let's go. Time to hit the A tire. Now, knowing my yardages for me is gonna be so crucial in my road to the open. So this wrap soda is gonna be huge for me. I'm gonna be using it lots to keep making sure I know all my yardages. So let's move through the irons. Right, so time for the seven iron. But a 190 carry there with my seven iron, so pretty, Pretty correct there. My seven iron does go a fraction more than the rest of them as the bag goes on. They do get slightly stronger as the irons do change. So let's move into the six and five and four iron, which is slightly different. Time to hit the six iron. I'm expecting around a 200 carry number. So the six iron yardage, we have a 201.4. So it's not gone too far, but a nice gapping there, the 11 yard gap. So slightly less actually than my other one. So there's potentially some room to change a few things around there. We're gonna have a look at how far the five and the four aren't going. Potentially if there's a gap, I could go and get my loft slightly changed to make sure my gapping is perfect. But before we do that, let's hit the five and four. So the five iron is out. Now I would expect a 215 number, which would be 14 yards perfectly gapped from my six iron. As I told you with the uh, pitching wedge, that should work. So let's see what happens. Five iron's been hit there and fairly close to where I thought. We have a 216 number there. So that is my carry number with a five iron. Quite a strong five iron. That's a good distance for me. So we're going to move into the four iron. I reckon we're looking at about a, a 225, 228 number. Four iron's been hit there and we have a 224 carry so the wind has just picked up which is pushing it slightly into wind so not sure if that's affecting it ever so marginally but fairly distant fairly decent number there 
Uh, let's move into the two iron, and then we have a forward and a driver, so we're going to hit them next. Forward, I'm expecting around a 270 carry number. So the forward there, we have a two, 265 pretty much carry on there, a 288 total, obviously every fairway is going to be slightly different, so that would be a fair amount of roll on there. So. 264, 265 carry. Now let's see, I'm sure you've all been waiting for, how far do I hit my driver? Time for the driver. I reckon I'm gonna carry this around the two, 295 mark, maybe even 300. Nice hit for me there. We've got 292 carry with a 312 total. If you like that video, make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on my journey of road to the open.